Well, well, yes. We are indeed discussing it. Let's take a stroll down memory lane, shall we? In 2010, during Selena's time on Kisses Tell, she began dating Justin Bieber. They had their ups and downs before finally breaking up. Then Justin started seeing Hailey Bieber on and off during the times he wasn't dating Selena, which didn't sit well with diehard Jelena fans. The internet has been buzzing with comparisons and contrasts between Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber for years. The back and forth was confusing at times, especially when you compare the timelines of Justin and Selena's relationship with that of Justin and Haley's. But you'd think that the drama would be over by now, considering that Justin and Haley are married and have been for years. After four years of marriage to Justin, Haley finally opened up about her feelings for Selena Gomez on Alex Cooper's podcast, Call Her Daddy. Shortly after that, a viral photo of Selena and Haley embracing put an end to rumors that they were still feuding over Justin. But wait, the TikTok brow controversy started. Let's break down the rumored tension between Haley and Selena. On June 29, 2023, Haley publicly criticized the division that she and Selena's made-up feud had generated. After months or, honestly, years of speculation, Haley finally addresses the supposed beef between her and Selena. When asked about the rumored drama by Emily Chang, host of Bloomberg's The Circuit, Road founder Haley said she had hated it from the very beginning. The fashion model started off by saying, I don't think that this is about me, Haley Bieber, and Selena. The dangers of spreading false and distorted stories can lead to vile, disgusting hatred, as the author puts it. Defending Selena online, Haley said, is an opportunity to really stand for bringing people together and not being okay with the kind of division that the feud rumors caused. She expressed her displeasure with fans choosing teams and her hope that by publicly debunking the rumors, she can spread a message of unity. It doesn't have to be about this whole divisive nature, Haley said. The story of two girls competing for the same guy is awful, Haley went on to say. She continued, I hate it. I've hated it since the beginning, and I think that goes back to being misunderstood. Time and time again, I don't know why we keep having to say there is no issue and there is no problem. It's disheartening that women still feel the need to act this way when it comes to a male. On June 12, 2023, Haley posted a statement to her Instagram story in which she backed Selena. Haley liked Selena's Instagram post the day before, and that set off a chain reaction. After receiving some hateful, mean, and nasty remarks, Haley responded the next day by posting a message on her Instagram story. She added on her account, If you're leaving rude comments on anyone's posts on my behalf, just know that I don't want that, and I do not now, and will never support or condone hateful, mean, or nasty comments. Please be courteous or don't say anything. Doing so is not showing support for me. If you're part of that culture, I want no part of it. Several months ago, when Haley was being threatened with death, Selena commented on her own Instagram account, imploring her fans to cease the abuse. According to Haley, she and Selena are attempting to move past the narrative around them as of March 24, 2023. After Selena asked her followers to stop spreading hate online, Haley decided to weigh in on the rumored conflict between the two stars. On Instagram, the model said, I want to thank Selena for speaking out as she and I have been discussing the last few weeks how to move past this ongoing narrative between her and I. The 26-year-old model noted that things can be taken out of context construed differently than they were intended, and she urged her followers to be more thoughtful about their posts online. She also said that she would be doing the same. According to her, love will always be bigger than hate and negativity in the end. As the saying goes, there is always an opportunity to meet each other with more empathy and compassion. Selena calls on her audience to end the hate on March 24, 2023. After Haley has reportedly received death threats, Selena is reportedly sticking by Haley through all of the trouble. On Friday, the only murders in the building actress posted an appeal for Haley in her Instagram story. Cell added, Haley Bieber reached out to me and let me know that she has been receiving death threats and such hateful negativity. With the words, this isn't what I stand for, no one should have to experience hate or bullying. Selena pleaded with her supporters to put an end to the rumored dispute. She finally said, 
I've always advocated for kindness and really want this to stop. On March 6, 2023, viewers speculated on whether or not Justin had shaded Selena with his party favors. Even though Selena didn't show up to Justin's 29th birthday party last weekend, her name started popping up online after guests tweeted images of a suspicious party favor. In one of the gifts he presented to loved ones, Justin carved the words, I'm so thankful. I didn't end up with what I thought I wanted onto a silver cowboy boot-shaped lighter. As Selena's relationship with Haley continued to unfold, many began to question if the lighter's inscription was a dig at Selena or a strange coincidence. Meanwhile, Selena used the video-sharing app TikTok to address her fans' concerns about her mental health. She commented, Thank you and love you all so much. I am deeply grateful for each and every one of you humans. You make me unbelievably happy. My heart has been heavy and I only want good for everyone. All my love, Selena said in a comment that has since been deleted. Haley's old tweets start to reappear on the internet on February 28, 2023. Because the internet never forgets. Haley Bieber is currently trending on the social media platform after a few of astute users uncovered tweets the model had made in the past about her now husband and his then girlfriend. Tweets from May 27, 2011, which read, I'm for sure 100 Team Jelena, and September 23, 2011, which read, I don't care what anyone says, but Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez together is the definition of a teenage dream. Word were captured and posted by Exo Valerie Airy. On September 23, 2011, Justin Bieber famously surprised Selena with a romantic evening of supper and a movie at the rented out, empty Staples Center in Los Angeles. In addition, six years before she said I do and became Mrs. Bieber, Haley tweeted, Selena Gomez is so cute. Mean girl drama involving Selena, Haley and Kylie Jenner, February 22, 2023. In a now deleted TikTok video, Selena playfully mocked the fact that she had over laminated her brows. Kylie uploaded a selfie to her Instagram story. Three hours after Cell shared the TikTok with the message, this was an accident written over her eyebrows. She followed up that photo with a screenshot of herself and Haley talking on FaceTime, this time with the focus on their eyebrows. Devotedly, yours, a user on the video sharing platform TikTok made a video recapping the events and calling out Bieber and Jenner for shading Selena Gomez. Fans took to TikTok to label Haley and Kylie mean girls, but Kylie responded by calling the whole thing reaching and said, no shade towards Selena ever, and I didn't see her eyebrow posts. You guys are making something out of nothing. This is silly. To this, Kylie's biggest fan received the response from Selena. Agreed Kylie Jenner, it's all unnecessary. I'm a fan of Kylie, even with the resurfacing of 2017 footage of Haley sticking her tongue out and trying to gag when Taylor Swift's album was mentioned. While co-hosting the series Drop the Mic, many Selena fans remain dubious and believe that Kylie and Haley are just rude girls. In the comments section, Selena defended Tay, writing, So sorry, my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game. After receiving so much positive attention online, Cell surpassed Kylie to become Instagram's most followed female user with 387 million followers. An anonymous TikTok user, going by the handle Sunlight Chaser, posted a video in Selena's defense, in which they referred to Kylie and Haley as Nepo babies and called their actions disgusting and despicable. I love you, Selena said. A recent Instagram image by Cell with the message I deleted this one time because I thought maybe it was too much, but A, which she later modified to add taking a break from social, though she has since posted one post for her friend and soon-to-be weed Connor Franklin. During a TikTok Live, she explained why she was leaving social media. I'm so blessed. I have the best friends, the best fans in the whole world, and I just couldn't be happier. I'm good, I love who I am, and yeah, I'm gonna be taking a break from social media because it's, this is a little silly, I'm 30, I'm too old for this. When Selena saw Haley's deleted TikTok post on February 14, 2023, she had to say something. TikTok user Ellen Acuario believes that the model's lip sync to the audio. I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying that God's timing is always right was meant for Selena Gomez, and the video has since gone viral. 
despite the fact that Haley Bieber erased it in early January. What did Haley mean by that? It's been said by some of the supporters. Another TikTok user pointed out that the two ladies have been seen together smiling and laughing, prompting the response, they don't have beef with each other, so why would it be at her? In the comments area, Selena put an end to the rumors by adding, it's okay, I don't let these things get me down. Be nice to everyone. X, this puts an end to any lingering doubts. Selena is completely unconcerned and focusing on having the time of her life right now, even if Haley's TikTok was about her. On Tuesday, November 2, 2022, Selena talks to Haley Baldwin about her viral images. The images of Selena and Haley at the Academy Museum Gala are still the talk of the town. Because, obviously, sources close to the stars have said that after taking the iconic photo together, Selena and Haley are more than cordial and are glad to have cleared the air. We've been eager to know every detail behind the snap. But up until now, we hadn't heard from either Selena or Haley themselves. In a recent interview with Vulture, Selena opened up about the personal and emotional subject matter of her upcoming documentary, My Mind, Me. Singer of Love You Like a Love Song is asked at the end of the interview about the viral photo with Haley and its origin. When asked about the exchange, Selena said, it's not a big deal. She then said, it's not even a thing, dismissing the supposed dispute. Reportedly more than cordial on October 26, 2022, between Haley and Selena. Sources have told Entertainment Tonight that things are genuinely amicable between Selena and Haley after their photo together at the Academy Museum Gala in Los Angeles went viral about a week ago. Despite rumors to the contrary, Selena and Haley are more than cordial and just want to remain friendly, as one source put it. Justin, Haley, and Selena are relieved to have talked things out and put this chapter of their lives to rest. Selena is doing amazing and is just focusing on herself, her family, and her close-knit circle of friends. They continued, she's not looking to settle down anytime soon. Instead, she's having fun. The Biebs, in the meantime, are great, the insider said. A close friend of the couple said, they are so in love and focusing on their work, as well as their mental and physical health. The friend went on to say that the couple is committed to maintaining the privacy of their marriage. Date. October 16, 2022, first shot of Haley and Selena together. It's you who's crying, not us. Fans have pitted the two women against each other for years, spreading rumors of feuds, turmoil, and adultery. Finally, in a snapshot released this year, Haley and Selena put an end to the rumors once and for all. The photograph of Haley and Selena kissing and hugging was taken by Tyrell Hampton. There have been more than 1.2 million likes on the Instagram photo as of this writing. Plot twist, the photographer captioned the photo. Another snapshot of the two of them holding hands was published by a Selena Gomez fan account. A future Selena declares on Instagram, live that words matter on September 29 of that year, 2022. Selena went on Instagram, live the day after Haley's interview about her other stuff, came out to talk to fans about her new rare beauty line and offer some personal thoughts. If you support Rare, I cannot thank you enough, but know that you are also representing what it means, and that is words matter, truly matter. So it's coming from me, and I just want all of you to know that I hope that you understand that this is much bigger than anything else. I'm really grateful to all of you for hearing me out. So have a wonderful rest of your day, and I appreciate all the love. Thank you, the singer said. On the September 28, 2022 episode of Call Her Daddy, Haley says her first public words about Selena. After years of speculation, rumors, infidelity accusations, and violent bullying from Jelena fans, Haley Bieber finally addressed the rumors in a viral interview on Alex Cooper's successful podcast, Call Her Daddy, where she clarified that there is no tension between her and Selena. When asked about the complicated timeline of their relationship, Haley said, when him and I ever started, like hooking up or like anything of that sort, he was not ever in a relationship, ever, at any point. It's not my character to mess with someone's relationship. I would just never do that. I was raised better than that. I'm not interested in doing that. In addition, Haley said that she is much happier now that she and Selena are able to talk to one another again after their marriage. She went on to say, you're never going to be able to correct every narrative and there's gonna be new ones that come. It's never gonna end. And that's why I get to the point. 
That's why I didn't speak about a lot of this stuff. Peace on May 11, 2022, Selena responded to charges from fans that she had shaded Haley. After posting a TikTok video of herself going through her beauty routine, Selena was forced to disable comments from admirers who saw far too much sinister meaning in the clip. Wait, someone commented, is she trying to make fun of you know who? In reference to Haley, who had also just shared a skincare routine video, Selena quickly responded to the false charges on TikTok, writing, Guys, no idea what I did, but I really am sorry. Zero bad intention. Deleting soon. In April of 2022, Haley begs online commentators to stop bothering her. Haley Bieber took to TikTok with a sincere plea more than a decade after Justin and Selena made their red carpet debut as a new couple in 2011. Haley pleaded, enough time has passed. The video was labeled, this is for you guys in my comments every single time I post. The speaker said, I'm minding my own business. I don't do anything and I don't say anything. Leave me alone, please. May 2021. At the Met Gala, people trolled Haley. Truth be said, no one deserves this. Fans at the Met Gala or the Fashion Super Bowl yelled Selena, Selena, Selena as Haley and Justin Bieber walked the red carpet. Soon after, the newlyweds posed for photos and one TikTok user compiled footage showing Justin mouthing, I love you and don't cry. Don't cry to his wife as he cleaned under her eyes. In a hurry, Haley covered her eyes with dark sunglasses. Fans were quick to call out the rudeness, tweeting things like, y'all, this is so sad. They are married, let them be. How would you feel if you were with our significant other and someone started screaming our ex's name? In March of 2021, Haley discusses the persistent rumors concerning Selena. In 2021, Haley Bieber started her own YouTube channel, and one of her videos featured an interview with psychiatrist Dr. Jessica Clemens about mental health and social media. According to Haley, who seemed to be referring to Selena's fans, I think when you're going through a situation where you just have so many people hounding you with the same thing over and over and over again, it starts to mess with your mind and then you start to question everything. In December of 2020, Justin retaliates against a fan who incited a mob to harass Haley. At one point during an Instagram Live, a viewer said, need to F King bombard that ST with Jelena and how Selena is better. Go after please, let's all go after her. To show his disapproval, Justin copied and pasted the comment into his Instagram story, writing, this sad excuse of a human just encouraged people on video to literally go after my wife telling people to say that my previous relationship was better, so on and so forth. It is extremely hard to choose the high road when I see people like this try and rally to gather people to bully the person I love the most in the world. It is not right. Despite rumors to the contrary, Haley and Selena are not at odds as of November 2019. For a month after the Instagram story controversy, a source told us weekly Haley thinks Selena is talented. By liking photos of Selena, whether a glam shot or ones that her friends post on Instagram, Haley wants to show that there are no hard feelings. It's her way of trying to make peace and show her support for Selena in a low-key, yet public way. A month later, in an interview with British Vogue, Haley said that social media can be a breeding ground for toxicity and people creating false drama between women and trying to put women up against each other and create these narratives that are just toxic, adding, I think that has to change and that has to stop. In a similar vein, Selena has said in the past, I do not stand for women tearing women down. I will never, ever be by that. So please be kind to everyone. It does not matter what the situation is. If you're my fans, do not be rude to anybody, please. Release date for Lose You to Love Me is set for October 23, 2019, and rumors of dissing from Hailey Bieber abound. Here's how things went down. At midnight on October 23rd, Selena dropped Lose You to Love Me, the definitive song about letting go and loving oneself. Then, 34 minutes later, Hailey Bieber shared the song I'll Kill You by Janae Aiko and Summer Walker to her Instagram story, with Aiko singing, I wish a BTH would try to come between us. It won't end up good. Instagram posts by Haley Bieber. However, Haley clarified that the article post wasn't an attack. Please stop with this nonsense. She said as a comment on just Jared's Instagram post, there is no response. 
This is complete BS. On Twitter, Selena wrote, he said to me, Selena, hold on, I hurt when you hurt. I cry when you cry, but I will never ever leave your side. Work with me, walk with me, and watch how I do it. Justin and Haley tell it like it is to their critics in April 2019. Strong, unsolicited opinions from fans who preferred Justin's relationship with Selena above his relationship now marriage. With Haley plagued the Biebs during their first few months of marriage, the pair eventually responded to the criticism on social media. Haley posted on Instagram, you little internet kiddos need to learn how to move on for real. We're adults that have better things to do than waste time explaining something just so you can stop your delusional fantasies. I'm not going to sit here and let obsessive strangers try to tell me about my own husband. You want to talk about somebody's husband then get her own. g Knight. Justin also wrote on Instagram, Why would I dedicate my whole life to someone in marriage to get back to my ex? Anyone who believes this is mean-spirited or 10 years old or younger because a logical person doesn't talk or think this way. You should be ashamed of yourself. I absolutely love and loved Selena. She will always hold a place in my heart, but I am head over heels in love with my wife, and she is absolutely the best thing that has ever happened to me, period. Justin and Haley got married in September of 2018. That sure was quick. Meet the Biebers. Despite harsh criticism from their fans, Haley and Justin got engaged just weeks after their reunion and married in a private ceremony a month later. Haley would address the timeline of these events years later in 2022, saying, I think it was the best thing that could have happened for him to move on and be engaged and get married and move on with his life in that way. She explained, I know what was going on when we got back together, and I know what had to happen for that to come back together in a healthy way. In May of 2018, Justin and Selena split up once more, a month after his final breakup with Selena. In June 2018, Justin started dating Haley. Haley has always loved Justin and they have been best friends, so it's no surprise that they're hooking up again, an insider told us weekly. In December of 2017, Justin and Haley enjoy a friendly get-together. Two years have passed since Justin and Haley's New Year's Eve makeout, and the two have been spotted hanging out platonically while Justin is rumored to be dating Selena once again, much to the dismay of Jelena fans. Justin and Selena reconcile in November of 2017. Press Weekly reports that the pair had reconciled after repeated sightings of them together in Los Angeles. Following Selena's brief romance with The Weeknd, Selena confronts Justin about his anti-girlfriend stance in August of 2016. In a foreshadowing move, Selena opened her about the bullying experienced by Justin's ex-girlfriend, not Haley. Many Jelena fans were upset when Justin started dating Sophia Ritchie, and some of them began posting nasty things online about Sophia. I'm gonna make my Instagram private if you guys don't stop the hate. This is getting out of hand. Justin wrote, Selena shared her thoughts on the matter saying, if you can't handle the hate, then stop posting images of your girlfriend Lolo. It should be special between you two only. Don't be furious at your fans. They love and supported you before anyone else. In continuation, Justin added, It's funny to see people that used me for attention and still try to point the finger this way. Sad. All love. I'm not one for receiving any kind of hate. Hope you all can be kind to my friends and each other. And yes, I love my believers. In response, Selena implied that her critics were the ones who had cheated on her, writing, Funny how the ones that cheated multiple times are the ones pointing the finger at the ones that were forgiving and supportive. No wonder fans are mad, sad, all love. In the end, it was Justin's I cheated. Oh, I forgot about you and Zayn. Comment that put an end to the comment fight. Oof. In December of 2015, Justin celebrates the new year with Haley and their pals. For the second year in a row, Justin jetted off to Anguilla with Haley Baldwin and company for New Year's Eve. He later confirmed that there is something going on between him and Haley by posting a captionless photo of the two of them kissing on Instagram. Subtle, Justin sings my girl to Selena Gomez in a November 2015 video. Hmm. What? Justin was seen performing My Girl by The Temptations to his ex-girlfriend Selena Gomez in a hotel bar a full month before he jetted out to the Caribbean with Haley Baldwin and others. 
A video of them hugging thereafter also shows Selena laughing and smiling at his singing tour. In the month of December 2014, Justin and his pals, among them Haley, celebrate the new year. Friends, for the time being. They've spent New Year's Eve together before, so consider this a subtle hint. For his Instagram video, Justin panned the camera to Haley, who joked, Happy New Year! In an interview from November 2014, Justin flatly denied he was dating Haley. Here we go, Wiena Gomez reference into the whiplash. After months of reported drama between himself and Selena, including unfollowing her on Instagram and explaining that they aren't talking but telling you that he still loves her, Justin took to Instagram to post a selfie with Haley, captioning the photo. People are crazy. I'm super single and this is my good friend you would know otherwise. A fight breaks out between Justin and Orlando Bloom in July of 2014. Fans have theorized that Orlando and Selena were hanging out together at Chelsea Handler's comedy concert, which Us Weekly reported as the cause of their argument in Spain, but no one knows for sure. Selena's Come and Get It was released in 2013 it when you're ready. In 2013, Selena released a hit song that many assumed was directed at her ex-boyfriend Justin. Justin responded by posting a snapshot of the two of them on Instagram with the comment our love is unconditional before swiftly deleting the photo. Chaos, chaos! The first breakup between Justin and Selena occurs in 2012. Fans of the then young stars who fell in love with Jelena in 2011 were devastated when they learned of the couple's divorce. But this wouldn't be the first time the two had broken up and subsequently, spoiler alert, gotten back together. Trust concerns, according to sources quoted in Us, Weekly, and People, contributed to the rifts that ultimately led to the couple's split. Selena Gomez discusses her romantic life with Seventeen on May 2, 2011. As Selena told Seventeen, when you're in love, you kind of give everything and make that person your life. So every day, you get more and more of yourself back and it feels better," the singer said. I don't like hiding. I do like to keep certain things to myself, but at the end of the day, I'm 18 and I'm going to fall in love. I'm going to hang out with people and I'm going to explore myself and I'm okay with that. The red carpet debut for Justin and Selena on February 27, 2011. In 2011, at the Vanity Fair Oscar party, the two young Hollywood stars made their red carpet debut as a couple. For their first major public outing as a pair, the young couple put the red in red carpet, literally by dressed in identical colors of crimson. The experience was the equivalent of going to prom with each other, as Selena stated later. Haley Baldwin and her dad Steve Baldwin attended the premiere of Justin Bieber. Never Say Never earlier that month and posed for photos on the red carpet. 2009. When Justin first met Haley Baldwin, she was 12 years old and he was 15. In a video shared on Twitter, Steve Baldwin introduces Justin to his daughter Haley, saying, This is my daughter Haley, we've been really enjoying your music. The two then shake hands very lukewarmly. A decade later, they would get married. Ha <laughs> ha! Amazing. Justin tweeted back to the guy who sent the clip with him. That's all for today, we will be right back with more. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.